In this video I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble and reassemble your laptop and also replace your power jack for your laptop or any other component. So, and this is a Lenovo IdealPad 300. So, let's get this started, flip it over, remove all the screws at the bottom, two at the side, three in the middle and two in the front. Once you got those screws removed, grab the front cover, slide it towards the front. So you're going to see this kind of offset, offset right there. Once you see this offset, just go ahead and lift up the front cover. Next, you want to remove the screws at the plastic cover. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These four are on the caddy of the hard drive and two more at this end. So go ahead and remove those. All right, once you remove those, grab the hard drive, slide it towards the CD-ROM. And once you see this offset right in the middle, there is a gap, lift it up, and that's your hard drive. All right, next, once you remove everything, unhook the cable for the Wi-Fi. This one's already been unhooked. Just lift the cables, the antennas. Open the laptop lid. Grab your guitar pick or anything like a guitar pick. Sharp, not too sharp, just 10 object. Stick it in between keyboard and the plastic and go ahead and twist it around on the top side of the keyboard so you can remove the keyboard. And once you don't yank the cable, the, ke the keyboard, just move it towards the screen. In here you have to lift up the lock mechanism for the flex cable, just lift it up in 90 degree angle and the flex cable will come out. And there's a part number for your keyboard in case you want to replace it. Next, you want to remove this cable right there, that's for the, your touchpad. Lift up the lock and pull out the cable. In this end, you have the on-off switch cable, same thing, lift it up and pull the cable out. Next, you want to grab your guitar pick, stick it in between the gray and black cover, if in case you have the gray version, just between these two plastic at the bottom. And you're just going to twist it around, you're going to twist it around all along along this front side and this side. Right, once you did that, you loosen up the front plastic. Go ahead and remove these two screws. Or you could remove these two first. These two screws, this one right here, it's under the white paper, warranty paper, so you have to remove the paper. Once you remove these two screws, now you can go ahead and lift up the front cover. At the back you got the touchpad and the on off switch. If you want to replace it, there's only one screw holding it. Alright, down here. First thing first, you want to unhook the power cable and battery cable. Don't stick uh, pl pliers under the tape. You want to do it with a plastic because you don't want to shorten the cables, the connectors right there. You don't want to shorten these connectors. I'll show you guys. This connector is right down here. Once the tape is over, you stick a uh, tweezers underneath. You're going to shorten these connectors and you're going to fry the board. So just go ahead and pull the jack out. And next, unhook the jack cable for the DVD ROM. Unhook the cable for the extra USB that you have on this side for the audio jack. Unhook the speaker cables at the bottom. Don't yank the cable, just put your nails, fingernails right on the each side and just pull the cover plastic thing out. So you don't want to damage the cables. Next, you want to remove the cable for the screen. Just grab this handle right here that it gave you. Just pull it up towards the ceiling really hard and it's straight. Don't move it around, just straight up. 
All right, next you want to remove three screws, one by the battery on the motherboard, one by the speaker on the bottom by the motherboard, and one right at the top of the fan. Once you remove those, go ahead and slowly lift up the motherboard from this side. And once you lift it up in 45 degree angle, you want to grab this cable right here. That's the power jack cable and just pull it towards the fan. Now you can grab your motherboard and that's your motherboard. If you want to replace your Wi-Fi, unhook this screw. That's your Wi-Fi board. And that's your RAM, the heat sink and the fan. I made another video how to repaste this and you can check my other videos how to replace the RAM or clean your heatsink. Alright, down here, what I haven't shown in my other videos is the power jack if you want to replace it. You have to run the cables through here and then you have to lift up the power jack. This is your jack if you want to replace it again. If you have a broken jack, the part number is right on the paper right there. Grab your new jack, put it in. Make sure you put it nicely right there. Run the cable for the jack. Run the cable for the LCD screen. These are really delicate cables. Don't try to twist them too much or bend them too much. That's right there. Now, if you want to remove your speakers, they just come out easy. There's no screws needed. So just pull them out and replace them if you want to. And on this end, you have your extra USB. There's only one screw holding this whole thing apart. By removing that, you can replace it. The CD-ROM, again, there's only one screw right here. Unscrew this and lift up the CD-ROM and change your CD-ROM. For the battery, two screws right there. I already made a video how to replace your battery. Check my other video if you want to know. There's a trick to it. And I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. And if you have any questions, ask me in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. Anyway, so let's put the keyboard, the motherboard back down. Always put it in a 45 degree angle like this. All right, for the motherboard, you want to leave it in a 45 degree angle right there. I mean, towards the screen, so you can actually plug in the jack nicely because the jack goes right there. So you can actually see how it goes. So plug in the jack right there. And then you can go ahead and lay down the motherboard. While you lay down the motherboard on the I.O. side first, make sure why, while you're going, putting it down, Pull the cables out, pull the ribbon cables so they don't stay underneath the motherboard. The battery cable right there. Now you can actually move it around, make sure it's nice and fit, the holes align. Once you got that in, first thing first, put the screws for the motherboard, one right at the top side, one at the bottom by the speaker. And one right by the fan. Alright, once you got that in, go ahead and put the screen cable in. Just push it down. Put the ribbon cable for the CD ROM. Ribbon cable for the extra USB and audio jack. Um, put the cable for the speakers and at the end once you double check everything make sure everything is connected nicely put the cable for the battery right there slide it in and 
hide the cables underneath make sure there is not on the way so you don't cut them accidentally once you got that in grab the top cover put the hinge side down first and push it down with your fingers on the corners don't push down the middle there's nothing to push down there all right once you got that in put the two screws in the middle one right by the lcd screen and the last one is the cd rom one all right and the last thing on the top side put the cable for the on off switch close it the touchpad slide it underneath and close the lock all right once you got that in grab the keyboard Put the keyboard on this position, just like that. Make sure it is an offset. Open the lock for the ribbon cable. Slide the ribbon cable underneath this black cover and close the black cover while you're holding it underneath. Now, for the keyboard, put the bottom side down first. Slide it underneath. Push down with your fingers the sides of the keyboard. Don't push the middle. Once you got those in and you hear the click sounds, close the screen flip it over plug in the Wi-Fi antennas always do this first before you forget it All right next you want to grab your hard drive put the hard drive back side down first and slide it towards the ram now you want to put all the screws on the bottom side including the four for the hard drive right now you want to put the three screws for the keyboard which is this triangle right there now the last four screws are the blue ones, blue painted, the thicker one, to on the hinges. And the last two is for the top cover. And I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you have any question, ask me in the comments. And subscribe to win to get a chance to win a prize. I do have a prize giveaway every 500 subscribers. And that's how you disassemble and reassemble your Lenovo Ideal Pad 300. Thanks for watching, guys.